<laughs> All right, good morning. It's September 16th, 2023. And we're going to keep on doing some more cleaning up on the hill up here. I don't know if y'all can tell. There's the field down there. We're about, I'd say, 50, 60 feet above ground level here. And I got a bunch of brush I still want to clean up. There's some uh, piles of rocks, like right here. I want to get some of this cleaned up. It, it's not easy to bush hog when you got random rock piles and big rocks. Just you'd be surprised at how many rocks are inside all of this bush, all the brush and stuff through here. So, but I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take down this tree right here. It's dead. And there's another one right you probably can't see it but there's another one up there and i still wanted to get all these low branches ripped off these trees right here so i can get the tractor close to them so we're going to spend the day up here on the hill it's not supposed to rain it's supposed to get up to about 80 degrees by this afternoon it's 60 right now it's gonna be a nice day so here's some big old rocks bush hog doesn't really like running over those <laughs> so there's a lot of water that comes draining down this hillside right here. And, you know, after I get this all cleaned up and everything, we'll start to see what we can do about getting so getting it channeled to a certain area. And maybe I'll line that up with rocks or something to keep it from eroding away. But that's all in the future. For now, we're going to get this cleaned up so I can get some new fence lines in here. Maybe by the spring, I'll be able to start to get a couple of cows and some goats and sheep and, you know survival kind of stuff everybody's talking about the end of the world right now and end of civilization as we know it plus i don't trust the food that's in the grocery stores anymore it tastes funny i want my own food so anyway first thing we're gonna do is gonna get this tree down i think there's still some good wood in it for firewood we'll just tear all the little branches and stuff off of it with the excavator and put it onto a pile so we can burn it this winter when it's not so dry out. So, all right, here we go. thing it'd be a pain in the butt to dig around oh gotta love northwest arkansas <laughs> all right i think i got it good enough it might push over a shot here. Or maybe not. Oh. It's drying. Oh, man. 
cool. Like they didn't go very deep. They just spread out over the whole trunk. Huh. Look at all those rocks. Alright, I'm gonna go grab my chainsaw real quick. We're just gonna cut these branches off. It's better than ripping them off. We're gonna get a smoother cut anyway, so I'll be right back. Alright, got the chainsaw out. She's warming up. We'll get much of this cut off of here and then I'll get it flipped over, lift it up with the excavator so I can cut the stump off. We're, I'll probably end up just digging this hole out and just reburying the stump, so kind of wasted all my time scraping the dirt off of that, but yeah. Oh well, lesson learned. There's still a lot of good firewood. I bet there's a rick of wood in this maybe. Get it all cut up. That'll help out this winter. Pretty cool, that worked out. Didn't pinch my blade or nothing. I'm gonna get some of these branches cleaned up here a little bit and do some more cutting.
big enough just to get that stump down in there it's just all them roots spread out so big that's got to be eight ten foot wide on there that's just it's crazy how far far out those roots spread on a surface like that we'll keep going Thank you. 
Them holes, I think I've got it about eight foot deep or so. And got that stump in there, got it all filled in. That was all the brush from that tree and some other stuff that I gathered up. I've got another brush pile over there. I'm thinking about bringing it over here. I don't know, I might end up doing that later. But for now, we're gonna let that dry for a couple of months. Probably, no, 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 December, January, we'll come up here and burn that and then bury it again. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of break. I'm gonna go down and check my printers, my 3D printers real quick and make sure they're still going good. If you guys haven't subscribed to my other channel, it's Innovative 3D Printing or Innovative 3D76, I think is the name of it. So go check that out if you want to. Uh, I'm gonna take a break, run down the hill and we might go up there and uh, get that other dead tree up there, get it pushed over and buried. Be another burn pile. So right now I've got one, two, three burn piles. No, four, there's another one there. And then that'll be five if I get that other tree down today. And that's just on part of the acreage. Still got all the way up on the hill behind these trees, all the way up over there. You can't even, probably can't even show you from here. So just working my way up it.